Hello and welcome back to my channel or welcome for the first time. Either way, I'm super happy you're here. So we are going to do some reverse stamping with this image right here. It's like an under the sea theme. I kind of wung this wung. Oh my gosh. Um, we're going to use that watercolor. We've got some water. We've got our black stamping polish. Don't do this with white. It doesn't work. We got our stamping stamper or jelly stamper and we have our tips that are already dipped in whipped cream glowkini um, from Sassy Mouth. It is a glow, so I thought it would be super cool. I do have some glow video at the end. I didn't take a glow picture because I could just, I could not get one that uh, worked right. Anyway, yes, so I'm kind of winging this whole thing. I didn't really have a plan of what images I was gonna use. I wanted to get things that I could actually color in, um, and that didn't work 100% the way I wanted it to or thought it would with this stamping plate. Uh, probably mostly because the images I grabbed weren't really conducive with coloring in. But I think at the end of the day, it turned out really cute. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and I'm going to get all the stamps down on my nails and then we'll start the coloring in process. So the guys are outside picking up hay bales and putting them in the barn. And my sister's dog is out there barking ferociously at them. It's just a little tiny dog. But man, she's got a bark on her. So I had to take a pause to wait until her barking had passed. Anyway, we're back. So like I was saying, uh, some of the images that I pick up are really easy to color in. Uh, but for the most part, they're not. But at the end of the day, after I did what coloring in I could, I was like, you know, I could take the blue and white and really make these ocean nails instead of just white with some coloring in. So that is what I did. Um, and I actually think they turned out really cute. This is like definitely out of my comfort zone. This is not something I would normally do. Uh, but I'm really glad that I did and I got the turtle. So I'm really glad about that because it turned out really, really cute. Um, so this kind of part is a little bit boring because it's just me stamping down the images before I get into coloring them down and, or coloring them them in. Blech. Okay. I'm having a morning like all around, uh, not a great morning, but, um, I did want to let you guys know. So this is dip powder. I filed, I buffed them super smooth and then I just cleaned them off with some alcohol and I am going straight in with a stamp. I do not have a sticky base down. I don't have anything cause I wasn't sure how that would react with the watercolor. And I didn't want to make any or take any chances with it not like meshing well so this there's nothing on them I do have to figure out the best way to top coat what watercolor nails oh that's kind of we'll talk about that when I get to that part but it's difficult and I don't know the best way to go about doing that without I mean I could have used gel I guess I will try that next time and see if that works better um but anyway uh, i this is only my second attempt ever at doing the reverse stamping with watercolors. And last time I did it, I did it with white stamping polish and it was horrendous. And then I watched a video. I, I think it was Nicole's beauty scene. I think that's anyway. Um, and she recommended that you use black or really dark color because then when you do the watercolors, the black is still going to show through. And I was like, oh, well, that makes sense. I don't know why I didn't think of that before. So we're grabbing our little like watercolor pen that this came with. And I have so many others and I wish I would have grabbed a different one um, for no other reason than this one was getting pretty stained. But I, it was fine. It really in reality, it was fine. So I'm going to color this little fish in, I was trying to do it two different colors of yellow, but then I think, or yellow and then orange at the bottom, but I think it all kind of just turned out yellow. Still turned out really cute. Uh, I just think I still had too much yellow pigment on the brush and then I'm dipping into the water off camera and then wiping it off on the paper towel off camera because I can only fit so much in the screen. And if I pulled it back so that you guys could see what I was doing with the water and the dipping in the paper towel, then you wouldn't be able to see me really coloring in or I'd have to zoom in and zoom out and zoom in and zoom out. And I just don't know that it's that necessary to see, but that is what I'm doing when I go off to the side, I'm dipping it in the water and 
rubbing it on the paper towel to get that pigment off so that I can go in to the next color. So this is kind of when I made the decision. I was like, okay, there's just not enough to color in. So let's kind of pick a blue that you think looks oceanish. Ocean it. Um, my words are struggling today. And so I picked this blue. It's it's kind of like a a light baby blue. I wouldn't call it a teal. It's it's definitely more like a baby blue. And I thought it looked really cute. And then at the end, I will go in and I will add a little bit of the white pigment, which you see up on the top uh, left of the solid colors, not the metallics. And I will kind of splotch that around. And I think they turned out really cute. I don't know that this is a hundred percent the vision I had in my head going into this. I thought I was going to do something a little bit more ethereal and clean looking. But at the end of the day, I actually really think these turned out cute. I love reverse stamping so much. It just, it really takes an image and brings it to life. Um, I wanted to make this octopus like a pinky orange color. I think that it's more pink, but that's okay. It's fine. A pink octopus. What's there's nothing wrong with that. Um, and I think that, yeah, that's pretty much the only thing to color in on this nail. I really wish this stamping plate would have been a little bit more friendly to reverse stamping, like had open spaces. I think that makes sense. Um, I know I already said that once, but I just, I was really like hoping to like paint in the coral and like all the foliage that you see in the ocean. Um, but it just didn't work out that way. And it's, I have another stamping plate that's kind of ocean. Well, I actually have two. I have one that's more mermaid and I could have gone that route. And then I have another one. It's just a small little tiny one. It only has like eight images on it. Um, but it was pretty much the same as this. So at the end of the day, I decided to stick with this one because then at least I have some images that I can kind of color in and then I'll just make the blue background. So I, I like them. Um, I know I already said that once, but I really think they turned out good. So I am doing the turtle now. I did like a kind of brownish orange color and now I'm going in with this like metallic color. And I think that was a really good choice. I think it turned out really cute doing the darker metallic color on the bottom like on the feet and the head and stuff and then the lighter color on the top to really just make that turtle pop especially with the blue that I put on the nail so I'm gonna take a quick little break I'm gonna let you guys watch this and I will be right back <laughs>
this is definitely my favorite nail. I am sorry. I'm not like, I'm a little bit off to the side. I think you can still see. I don't know. I think it's just because I colored this fish green and I loved it so much, but this did turn out to be my favorite nail out of all of them. Um, and I don't know, you guys can see pretty well my nails in the background. And I am so happy to say that they are doing so good. I still have a tiny bit of damage on some of them on the very, on the free edge. Um, but they're growing out really nicely and clean and healthy. And yeah, I am loving the way I've been doing press-ons without damage. I did find a new glue and I will possibly show you guys in a very soon upcoming video um, how I use it and then how I remove it. Uh, if that's something you guys are interested in, let me know. But the, it's a solid glue. It's a little bit more thick and viscous than the fast bond. Um, but the thing I like about it, so my problem with fast bond, it's, it would be great if I did full cover tips and like just dipped over them and wore them for until they grew out to the point where I couldn't wear them anymore. But taking them off is a pain in the butt. I have not found an easy way to remove nails with fast bond. Um, I usually have to soak them off. I create a lot of damage. I, I don't know what it is about them. They're just that good, I guess. But this new glue, although I'm still testing out to see how long it will last, I actually used it on my daughter's last set of press-ons. So I'm waiting for her to report back because she usually wears hers for like three to four weeks before she starts ripping them off. Yes, I yell at her for that. Um, so yeah. I'm, I'm waiting to see, but I can remove that with like the removers. Um, oh, I'm doing the white now. I think you guys saw that, but I was too busy yapping to notice what I was doing anyway. Um, so yeah, I will do that in an upcoming video, but I, if I want them to stay on for a few days, I'm using the glue. If I want them to, um, just easy pop on and off, then I use the sticky tabs. Okay. So now I am, because I don't use this smudge free top coat, I use this foil glue for all my stamping. I go over it with the foil glue and that usually seals it into the point where I can go in with a top coat and I'm just fine. But for some reason, I think it's because I dragged the brush on the pinky nail. I do end up smudging it. You'll see here in a minute when I get to the top coating part, I do just use a regular nail polish top coat because I am using matte. So I did use the SE matte about you. I wanted a matte so that the designs really popped and I do love it, but bam, I smudged it right there. Oh, right there. You can see it totally smudged. At that point, I was just going to deal with it. On the rest of the nails, I do a really good job at floating the product over. So that just means that I have a nice size bead on there and I float it so I don't let the actual brush touch the nail. And I did not get any more smudging. It worked perfectly. It's only the pinky nail. I was really bummed about it, but honestly, it's not super noticeable in the pictures. Um, so I just left it as is, but here is the finished set all matted out. I'm going to get them on my nails right now. And there we are. I kind of love it. It's, it's definitely different for me, but I really, I, I don't know. I think that my two favorite nails are definitely the thumb and the ring finger. And then this is what I have on my right hand. I can't remember what it's called. I think it's, I don't remember. Uh, but that is for my one color Wednesday nails. So, and it's butterfly dips. I know that much. I think it was blackberry cobbler or something like that. It is so pretty. pretty. It's from the prism collection. Whew. Okay. So we are getting our nails in a coffin cuticle oil on. This is in the scent Wildberry, which I am obsessed with. Wildberry, Wildberry too. I don't know. I love all the scents. I think there's only been like, no, I don't even think there's been one that I haven't totally loved. I'm pretty sure that I love every scent that I have used from Nails in a Coffin. If you want to check out the Nails in a Coffin Crypt Serum, you can save using the code COFFIN20. Check them out, and you guys already know I love her decals. But back to this. 
we are wrapped up. Um, I am just taking an, a lint-free wipe with some alcohol on it to get off any oil residue so that they go back to their matte state. And I, I really love them. Here is the glow video that I did get of the glow. Um, you can't see the images that well. I don't know if it was a focus issue. You can see the turtle pretty well, but the glow is fabulous on that. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for being here. I will see you guys in the next one. Have a beautiful day. Bye.